Welcome back to Ready or Not. So we've actually played Ready or Not before on this channel. Ready or Not recently has recently got a huge update. It's called like the 1.0 update and it changes everything entirely. Call extension 4342, Yo. Sergeant Walsh 4342. I remember last time I played this, it was just like a normal like lobby. This is insane. All right, let me look underneath the door real quick. I don't think there's anything on the door. Okay. <laughs> So one of the craziest changes I feel like I have seen in the game right off the bat was how much better the graphics were. They look insane, especially in 4K. I also didn't read the patch notes, but it also seems like the, we have the old maps, I think, but they feel like they've got complete graphic rehauls. At least it feels like they look absolutely beautiful now. Oh my God, this looks insane. Does it not? Bro. This game has changed for the better, Johnny, huh? Didn't even report the dead guy. What are you doing, John? One thing that also feels crazily improved was the gore. The amount of detail in the gore is actually insane. I know this is more with the shotgun, of course, but depending on where you actually shoot them, it will actually show on them, which is actually very, very cool. Not a lot of games go that into detail with it, so it's really cool to see that. I blew this guy's head off. Look. Oh my god, bro. Dude, the gore. What do you think about that, John? It's crazy, bro. Yo! This kid's got shit in him, watch this! Oh, I killed the hostage! <laughs> oh shit, you good? You good, Holmes? Oh no. Dude, I just blew the hostage's arm off, John, look! Oh my god, bro. And I also kind of, you know, let the uh, intrusive thoughts win here. And uh, yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty bad to say the least here. Kind of. Alright, you wanna go? After this round. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot my head. One thing I saw about this update, which was absolutely insane to me, is I saw there was a new mode, and I'm gonna have to give it a shot because I haven't tried it yet. But you have one life, right? And you have to complete missions, I believe. And then if you die on any of those missions, it's like kind of like hardcore Minecraft, I guess, to compare it to. Once you die, it's over. It says it deletes your save completely. And I think I said you can unlock special rewards from completing it, like cosmetic stuff, which is actually cool. So it's kind of like a reward system for completing a very hard thing. Because some of the AI in this game are absolutely insane. I've, I've got wall banked multiple times before I've even peeked around the wall. I'm not saying the AI is a bad thing. Of course, you want to have a challenge. You know, it makes the game more fun. You want to come back and try to complete it. Um, but sometimes they're absolutely insane. And probably just because we haven't played a lot of this new update, we're probably just trash. But still very, very fun nonetheless. Dude, she's wall banging me. She's hitting me through the door. I think she's jumped what? off the balcony. Also, when you shoot someone and you injure them, the screams are insane. Like, the quality of the audio is very, very good. I do recall there actually being screams before, just not of this level. Just the attention to detail and everything has been so much improved, it feels like. It just, it honestly feels like a completely different game. I mean, it has the core same feeling, but everything else feels so many levels higher above everything else. You good, Johnny? No, bruh. Where's he at? Tell him to put his hands up. I'm already charging. <laughs> you get him? Dude, Nani put like 10 rounds into that guy. I know, bruh. I hear him screaming. You hear him? And I also forgot to mention, there is a brand new, like, when you go to select the mission you want to do, there's a brand new interface than before. And it works a lot better, in my opinion. And like I said in the video earlier before, you can even select where you want to deploy on that certain mission. Some of them, you can only go to one spot, of course. Some of them allow you to pick where you want to go in, which is very, very cool. The new menu screen, too. Dude, what the hell? This is so different. I love this. Not so convenient. Those are mods, I think. Dude, there's like new maps too. Are you kidding me? Fire exit residential stairwell. This is actually sick. You can choose where you enter now too. No damn way. I also believe Ready or Not has been early access for a while. And this update, I believe, um, don't quote me on this, in itself made it leave early access. And now it's a fully released game on Steam. Um, and also to mention, there's a lot more customizable stuff. I believe there's new weapons and tons of other stuff like that as well. One thing I also wanted to mention is I like that all the new levels have some good backstory to them. Like they tell you why they're there and they're actually pretty cool. For example, this one me and Johnny went to, right? You had to go there to this house, which I believe we played previous in this before, except for it's completely overhauled. Um, you had to go there 
and you had to capture a suspect that was wanted for five murders and it was just really cool adding that onto that going into there knowing what you're capturing the dude for it just gives like another level of intense bro look at this rv it's on fire by the way just so you guys know we're here for a um a suspect that is wanted for five police murders by the way holy shit yeah we gotta get this motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know where this is going, dude. Oh, that's going to there. Flash out! Uh-oh. So after that, we decided to give it a go at one of the craziest missions in the game, and that is heading to a college campus or a school. Dude, this fucking guy is in the girl's bathroom. <laughs> Bro, you need help. Fight, fight, I died from the <laughs> shooter. <laughs> what do you mean? You need, he needs help from that? This way, bro. Yeah, he's it. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god, ow! Another one. <laughs> you see me finish him off? <laughs> That's gnarly. One thing I did want to mention is me and Johnny experienced a little bit of problems with like sometimes our FPS would fluctuate in certain ways we were like facing in certain levels. Only a couple of the levels though, which is really weird. Um, I'm not sure if that's just, I'm not sure what causes that or what, but just something I wanted to note as well. But it's nothing horrible. You're still usually well in the playable FPS range. It's just, you can feel a dip a little bit sometimes. Oh yeah, there's a dude with a gun sitting right and left. I, I, Hold on. I got a shield. Hold up. No, 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 no. Watch this. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me, bro? What the fuck? I'm fucking dead, bro. All in all, ready or not, has improved a lot. This new 1.0 update makes the game so much more fun. It's really cool. You can go and do certain missions, and now you actually have like an incentive as well to unlock stuff. Like for example, you you still don't have anything to work towards, and now you can work towards unlocking cool cosmetics by doing certain missions and getting certain grades. So really, really cool. And yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Drop a like if you enjoyed. See you guys in the next video, boys. Let me know also down below if you guys like to see any games on the channel, and we'll be for sure to do it.